Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad and welcome to another tutorial on C++ programming language. In this video, we will talk about the toolset and IDE. In the previous video, we have seen the steps involved from writing a C++ program to generating an executable file from that program. In that video, we have seen that we are using the programs like the preprocessor, the compiler, linker, etc, etc to produce the output from our program. All these programs like the preprocessor, the compiler, linker and others, they always come in a bundle and that bundle or the group of these programs is called as the toolset. They are also called as the tool chain because they are chained together to produce the final output. If you look at this, then the output of the preprocessor is given as the input to the compiler and then the output of the compiler is given as the input to the linker and like that. So a tool set or a tool chain is the bunch of programs like the preprocessor, compiler, linker and others which help us to translate the program from human readable format to machine code. For C++, there are many compilers available. For example, there is the GNU C++ compiler and then there is Turbo C++ and then uh, Visual C++ and uh, many compilers are available. In this video series, we will be using the GNU C++ compiler and the reason for that is it is freely available, it is always updated and it is available for all the platforms. Now, as I said before, these programs, they always come in a bundle called as the tool sets. So in order to use the GNU C++ compiler, we need to get the GNU toolchain. This GNU toolchain provides us the GCC, which stands for GNU compiler collection. And they provide the compilers for many different languages like C, C++, Fortran, Ada, etc. So we will be using the GNU C++ compiler. This GNU toolchain is available in Unix based environments. But if you want to use the GNU toolchain in Windows, then you have two options. One, you will install MinGW. Two, you will install the SIGWIN. Here MinGW stands for Minimalist GNU for Windows and it provides the GNU toolchain for uh, Windows native application development and this SIGWIN provides the Unix like environment in Windows platform. In this video series, we will be using the MinGW. Okay, now we know about the toolset. Now let us talk about the process of writing the program and generating the executable file from that program. So what we have to do, we have to find a text editor and then uh, we have to write the program and then we have to call the programs which are available in the toolset and we have to pass in the uh, file names. So let us say we have to write in the commands and then we get the executable file. Now the problem here is if our project becomes larger, then our source code will be in multiple files and it will be difficult to manage the code. And also every time when we make a change to our source code, we have to follow this process again to get the executable file and then we have to run this executable file. So for the software development, this is the difficult approach. So every time you have to write these commands again and again and again. Now what if we have a software which will help us to write the code, which will help us to manage the code, which will help us to run the code and also uh, which will help us to find the errors and solve it. A software is available and it is called as IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment. It provides the facilities for the programmers to develop the softwares. These IDEs, they come with a text editor so that you can uh, write the code in that text editor and they provide the facilities like the uh, code completion, syntax highlighting, etc, etc. And after that, you just have to click on a button and everything will happen and you will see the output of your program. So if you make any mistakes in the program, then uh, the IDE will highlight that code and you will be able to solve that error easily. And also the IDEs will have the functionality for the code management. So an IDE is a software application which helps a programmer to uh, develop the software applications easily. For uh, developing the applications in C++, a lot of IDEs are available. 
for example the code blocks ide then eclipse then uh, visual studio and many ides are available uh, you can use any of those ides and you will be able to develop the applications so this is it guys for this video if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you have anything to say then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video